What's up, Flutters? Welcome back. This is another Foul Beer edition of Hoggy Squid Beer Reviews. And today, boy, it doesn't get any fouler than this shit here. Yeah? A lot of people wouldn't even consider this a beer. A lot of people wouldn't touch this with a pole. But me, I'm adventurous. And, you know, I take one for the team here. This is Budweiser Clamato. Or Clamato, Clamato, whatever. Budweiser and Clamato Chelada, as it says. Now, for these shitty ass beer reviews, cheap ass, foul ass beers, I don't really give too much info, I don't go on Beer Advocate, I don't get into any of that shit. I, would, I am going to give you a little background on this one, um, just because it's, it's something interesting. I looked it up beforehand, and uh, this is called the Chelada. Uh, it's a Mexican, uh, Latin American thing, um, but a Chelada is not necessarily tomato. A chelada is basically any beer mixed with other stuff like uh, lime juice, hence that Miller or Chill, their version of a chelada with, um, whatchamacallit, with uh, lime. Budweiser decided to do it with clamato and call it their chelada. Uh, beer in clamato is also known as a red eye. Uh, I think on the side of the can it says here, let me read this right quick here. Says, enjoy the best of two worlds, a refreshing blood riser and the unique flavor of clamato. Drink a red one, ready to go, or use your favorite ingredients to make it yours. Okay, whatever. That's what the shit says. Um, but yeah, that's how they came up with this disgusting concoction. Um, and you should know, they make this with Bud and with Bud Light. There's a Bud Light and clamato, same shit, but with Bud Light. And I said, fuck it, I'm going to go full force and get the Bud. Now, a little history on clamato or Clamato, however the fuck you want to say it. Um, it actually was, it was developed or designed or created by some fuckers at Mott's, you know, Mott's the apple juice people. Um, they wanted to make a cocktail with a Manhattan clam chowder kind of uh, broth, kind of a tomato and clam kind of thing, and make a cocktail out of it. And the juice was created from there. Uh, they actually copyrighted it and blah, 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 who gives a fuck. The point is, it's clam broth and tomato juice. And you drink it. Yeah. So, somewhere down the line they said, let's mix it with beer. And somewhere down the line, Budweiser said, let's make money off of that fucking idea. So you get this disgusting shit. Now, I wanted to try this shit down in Miami just for the fuck of it when I started doing these style beer reviews and I couldn't find it. But now that I'm up in Vero, go figure, first supermarket I walk into, they have both the Bud and the Bud Light. So, I've never had tomato before, and I'm not too excited about this. And I'm not a Bud fan, so... Uh, we'll see. But I want to know what this shit is all about. And I'm sure a lot of you want to know what this shit is all about, or at least see me suffer. So, here we go. Sacrificial mug. Tall can of Budweiser and Clamato. With salt and lime. Mmm. Chalada, Budweiser beer with a natural flavor and certified color. Certified color. Why the fuck does the color need to be fucking certified? I don't get it. And of course, since this was a Latin American creation, that bit I read earlier about enjoy the best of two worlds, they say it in Spanish as well. I'll spare you, I won't read that shit. Uh, and it's telling me to not shake it. Okay. Fuck it, let's get right to this. Uh. Fishy. I'll leave it at that. It's the color of pink grapefruit juice. Fizzy, foamy bud head. Now, in case anybody's wondering, I did look this up on Beer Advocate. This is categorized on there as a fruit and vegetable beer. That's how they do their, their categories for stuff like this. But uh, it is still 5% alcohol. If you were thinking that maybe mixing some kind of juice with the beer would bring the ABV down, nah. This shit is still 5%. And it does not smell appealing. But there you go, guys. Cloudy, disgusting, pinkish, reddish color. Foamy, I mean, fizzy head that just completely disappeared in about 20 seconds. And it left a bunch of shit that looks like salt stuck to the side of the glass. Fuck me, what have I gotten myself into? And I got three more of these bitches. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Fishy smell. There's no beer smell to this. It smells like fucking tomato juice, which smells like fucking clam. 
a little bit of tomato, but yeah, it's, it's, this, this isn't beer, guys. There's no hops, there's no malt, there's no nothing. There's slam and fucking tomato. A beer probably just waters it down and gives it carbonation. There's no head. The head, I mean, there's not even bubbles left. This is flat now. So, fuck it, here goes. Could have had a V8. Yeah. It's like V8 with alcohol maybe and a little bit of fishiness. It's not as assaulting on the palate as I thought it would be. But I don't no hops, no malt, no alcohol, no nothing. It's it's fish juice and tomato. But it's not as disgusting as I expected it to be, I gotta admit. does have a little bit of carbonation in there as you drink it. And th these are cold as fuck, by the way. I wasn't playing with this shit. Um, a little bit of fizz to it. Relatively light body, although you can feel it, it has some consistency to it. This is not a clear liquid. This has more heft to it. And it goes down smooth. I can understand this being refreshing. You know, if you're thirsty and if, if you're sitting on a beach somewhere or just lounging somewhere and South of Central America, and, you know, I want to drink something, I guess, something different, I guess. I see no point to ever drinking this myself, but it's not horrible. The smell is worse than the taste. I gotta hold, I gotta hold my breath when I drink this because the smell, that fish smell, is just tough. Oh, fuck. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with these other three. I guess I'll have to drink them at some point. Who am I kidding? I'll drink them, but oh, jeez, people. If you like tomato and you like Budweiser, fuck it, drink it. If you like tomato and you just want to try it, fuck it, drink it. If you don't like tomato, don't fucking buy it. And if you don't like a drink that tastes like tomato and fish, and we all know what tomatoes and we all know what fish taste like, if you think that's a disgusting, grotesque combination, stay the fuck away from this. And stay the fuck away from any, any similar concoction you're going to encounter from Canada all the way to Mexico. That's it. Ah, I'm going to... Oh, God. I'm going to finish this because I have to, guys. But you know what? This was a bad idea on my part. Fuck me. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I'll be back with more uh, foul beer reviews and regular beer reviews. And trust me, I'm not getting adventurous with any more juices. <sighs> I'll leave it at that. Take care, fuckers.